Universal Studios Hollywood. Do not try this in your home. It's Maximum Drive. No, don't try it in your home, but you can sure watch it in your home. the track. Hi again, gang. I'm Joe Fowler. Can you say maximum drive? I knew you could. Welcome. We've got nine competitors here, about the same age as you, about the same size. The only difference is I grabbed them right out of their seat in television land and put them right here on the track. It's going to be fun. Helping me out on Maximum Drive. Say hi to Brian Vermeer. Give him a big wave. He sees you. So does Mercedes Cologne. She's here, too. We are ready to call the action. The question is, are you ready? Yes, you are. Here we go. We'll start with the long course. The Pythons, Lions, and Wolves. Flying Brian Jaramillo will be running for the Pythons. In the middle, the Lions will seat up Joshua Bag. Joshua is 10 years old. There's Jonathan Brooks of the Wolves. He's running in lane one. Head safety official Randy Harden, he says, four laps, gang. We are seconds away from the start of our race. The Pythons, Lions, and Wolves with a clean slate, ready to rack up some points. And there's the start. On the outside, the Pythons, Brian Jaramillo has the lead. Nice bit of start by Brian. Jonathan Brooks in second, a little bit of luck going at the horseshoe for him. Joshua Bag in third. Jaramillo with the Pythons leading at the runway. Brooks still in second, and that's a distant second for the early part of this race. Jaramillo has put some air between himself and Brooks. Ready to complete lap number one. Jaramillo going at record pace around turn one. He's over. Jonathan Brooks, number two, Joshua back three. Jaramillo at the horseshoe, using his feet. Look at him, keeping his balance, digging his boots in the dirt. He knows he's got good time. He knows he's got a good lead. The Python Jaramillo has that lead. By the way, he wants to say hi to mom and dad. You bet. It's a done deal, Brian. You've just done it. Jaramillo at the chicane. Ready to complete pack number two. Jonathan Brooks still a distant second. Joshua Bag right behind him. Wow. What a clinic Jaramillo is putting on. As he heads down the slope, he still has that healthy lead. Jonathan Brooks still trailing, and Bag is right behind Brooks. Brian Jaramillo will hit the chicane, and he'll have one lap to go. Jonathan Brooks and Josh will back. Brooks slides in the hairpin. Oh, and he's passed by Bag. That's not going to help their cause. Meantime, Brian is flying. Our two other bikers trailing, Jonathan Brooks and Joshua Bag. The battle for second place is a good one. You can see Bag is right behind Brooks, and he wants those three points. Brian Jaramillo, 11 years old. He's 5'11", 125 pounds. Good size for 11-year-old. And he is going to hit the checkered flag. No problem. Here comes the fight for second place. Well, not much of a fight. Joshua Bag, you just saw him wipe out. So Jonathan Brooks finishes second for the Wolves. Here's the board. The fat five goes to fly and Brian Jaramillo and the Python. Now, I notice a different kind of style you use when you ride. Other than the others, where they sit down, you like to stand up a lot. Yeah, it just helps me go faster. Well, he's standing up and standing tall and proud with five points. And the totals prove it, Burmy. 2.06, two minutes and six seconds for flying Brian Jaramillo, one of the best times on the long course, riding a Cub after one of Ed Python's five, Wolves three, Lions one. Now, how would you like to ride on every one of our fast bikes, including the ATVs, and also jump around on those mats? That's what's going to happen on Over the Mat Triathlon. We're doing it right now. There's Kevin Knight of the Pythons riding out of the middle lane. He's strapping on the helmet, as is Bobby Archer. These guys are wearing the same safety equipment the big boys wear out on their tracks. Jared Franks of the Lions on lane number three. They are raring and ready to go. Triathletes, start your engines. We are ready for one of the most grueling events on Maximum Drive. Over to that triathlon. Inside control by Bobby Archer. 
pressure. Tough start at the elbow. Second place going to Kevin Knight. Jared Franks for the Lions in third. Archer continues to lead as they hit that runway and get a little speed going. Look at him as he raises up high on his bike. He's done this before. I don't know if he's ever had to do the over the bat triathlon. We're asking a lot of these kids. They're going to complete a lot and come back into the infield. Bobby Archer still with the lead. Kevin Knight the second, Jared Franks third. Bobby Archer will go into his shoot. Oh, the ball falls. He'll be penalized five seconds. That'll open the door for Kevin Knight. Jared Franks is also there. You can see Kevin Knight's going to hit his mat. Bobby Archer still leading despite the penalty. That's a good piece of riding. Bobby Archer starting up his XR, he jammed it. They are started already for them, and this is going to cost him. Kevin Knight now has the lead. Bobby Archer jammed his bike. It stalled out, and he's still working on it. Kevin Knight with the lead. Jared Franks in second place. Knight at the chicane, taking advantage of the moment. So Jared Franks finds himself all of a sudden in second place with Bobby Archer, our first left leader, stalled out when he jammed his bike. Now they'll come in and they'll do the ATV. You can see our course officials come. Slow down, be careful. Don't hit the ball off the cone. Kick stands down. Here goes Jared Franks and Kevin Knight. Jared Franks, he's the first of the ATV. He had been trailing through most of the race, but Kevin Knight gets right in front of him. A nice run by Kevin Knight on the ATV. Jared Franks right on his tail. Bobby Archer trying desperately to catch up. Kevin Knight at Hairpin Alley. A nice tight turn. That blocks off Jared Franks. That's a good move by Kevin Knight. Now the stretch run. Kevin Knight with a motor lead. And he just beats out Jared Franks. And that is yet another win for the Pythons. Five more points for them. Lions have three and the Wolves pick up a point over the match triathlon. Look at this. A virtual tie between Kevin and Jared on the final race at the mat. Jared's right in front of you. We'll slow it down. You can see, whoa! Hey, this is a top 10-yard run, gang. Jared's the first to his ATV, but Kevin gets it started just a little quicker, and bingo! Out of the infield, he had the lead. The verb as Kevin and Jared. Hey, you passed Jared here on, on the back 90. Yeah, I was lucky to get out a little faster. And if you could have played this differently, how would you have? Well, I would have jumped over the mat a little bit. I would have rolled over it instead of landing right on my butt on top of it. I could have had him one of his turn. Oh, if it were easy, it wouldn't be maximum drive. Pythons, after two events, have a 10 spot. Wolves with four. And the Lions have four. We've got more empty maximum drive after this. Fan TV will be right back. Experience the adventure as one young prince journeys to find the mighty King Arthur and a land called Camelot. It is my destiny. Prince Valiant, weekday mornings at 8.30 on FAM TV. Presenting the Fisher Price 3 in 1 tournament table. Breakfast is ready. One more ball, Mom. Where a simple game of pool is just the beginning. Time for lunch. Soon it explodes into an all-out tournament with table tennis balls flying. Dinner's ready. And a glide hockey game so yes. fast and furious. Good night, boys. There's no telling how long you'll play. One more game. The Fisher Price 3 in 1 tournament table. Table tennis, hockey, pool. Batteries not included. And now, sports tips from the Biker Mike Sports Bros. Here's Touchdown Moto's Long Bomb. Heads up! Heads off! It's Vinny's three-point play. Off crease fit. It's Electro Man! Yes! Sports Bros. Rock and Ride! Biker Mice from Mars. New Sports Bros. and other figures each sold separately. The Biker Mice were rocking and riding in their new super sidecar when they hit a roadblock. Electro Man! Shields up! They'll blast them! Yeah! We bagged the man! Rock and Ride! Biker Mice, new super sidecar. Figures sold separately. What it is is Space Invaders for Game Boy and Super Game Boy. What it does is unleash a steady stream of alien forces who keep coming and coming, just like in the arcade, till it feels like a bite and your sense of nervousness and while it's down the two like an elbow. Whew! Ah! Oh, that hurt. Yeah. Now, back to our show on Fan TV. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Good move. You tuned in to Maximum Drive. Here's our scoreboard after two events. Pythons 10, Wolves 4, Lions 4. Our camera from way up above the track will now 
zoom in on these monster Argo machines. We've got two riders in each. There you see the lions, Chris Thompson, Joshua Bag, putting on the helmet, the goggles. They've got shin guards, they've got gloves. And for this event, they've even got life jackets. Our officials from Novak are making sure all the bases are covered. This race will be run in the safest possible manner. It'll be loud, but it'll be safe. I can literally feel the, the ground shaking. It's not an earthquake, it's an Argo quake. And we're ready for Argo Beth and I'm out of here. It's the wolves, lions, and pythons. Python's early leader. There's jamming against it here, Pin Alley. Quickly now the lions take over. On the quagmire, the lions, led by Chris Thompson and Joshua Bag, are the leaders. Joshua Bag doing the navigating. Right behind him, the wolves, Quinn Brumbaugh, Jonathan Brooks. And they're going to slam against him out of the bog. That is an unfortunate mistake on the part of the wolves and quickly going through the box in a smart move the pythons fly through and they're in the alligator pit we will find out what they're going to do with the wolves on that slam in fact let's get randy harden our track official so the leaders are the pythons what are you going to do with the wolves no, it wasn't intentional. It came out of gear. We'll go let him go. Okay, Randy Harden, our track officials, letting them go. You heard it. So the race continues. The Pythons, Keith Latendris and Brian Jaramillo are the leaders. You wouldn't know they're riding in the brown Argo. They are buttons at every one of them. Slipping through the fog. The Pythons lead. The Lions in second. And the Wolves right behind them. And now the Lions, no, they're right behind them. Can the Lions even see out of their, out of their gear? The Pythons with one left to go, the Lions in second, and the Wolves are stalled out in the Gator Pit. What an adventurous run on Argo back. Into the lagoon they go. The Pythons, Keith Latendris driving. will slam it right into the lagoon, but look out right behind them. Oh, shifting out of gear, the Lions. They lost gear momentarily. It's a monster time. The Wolves, who have had all kinds of problems, are back in the race. It's Pythons, Lions, Wolves in that order. Latendris, Thompson, Grumball, the drivers, in that order. The Pythons, who lead going into the Argo Bath, a chance to add five more points. Race through the bog. They'll hit the Gator Pit. It slowed everybody down. Let's see if they can get through it. Here come the Lions right behind them. The Pythons have the lead. They're heading for the finish line. The Pythons, slowly but surely, are going to take the checkered flag. Brian Jaramillo with hands up in the air. Latendris driving them home. It was wet. It was muddy. It was worth it. Pythons pick up five more points. Lions with three, and the Wolves have one. Remember back when the Lions actually led this thing out of the fog, they accidentally knocked themselves out of gear. And then the Wolves slammed into them, and hey, they were stuck. Gear problems. That's what killed the Lions. And of course, the pythons are back there saying, hey, they're stuck. Here's our opportunity. Let's blow right through. And that's exactly what they did. Fermi. You know what the big problem it seems like here is that everybody's hitting the gears out of out of whack. Yeah, sometimes our knee accidentally hits it and pops it out of gear. And, there's, and we finally notice it when everyone's gone. Really? So now do you guys know how to take uh, care of that in case you guys have to do this again? Yeah. Just have him hold it. <laughs> have him hold it, navigate the thing, and hold it steady, Joe. All right, the Pythons are cooking with gas after three events. They've got 15, Lions with seven, and the Wolves have five. Now we go from the big, loud Argos to the smaller, much more quiet bikes. But the competition will be heated. Nine riders, there you see, flying Brian Jaramillo for the Pythons. They go youngest to oldest and back. There's Kevin Knight and Keith Latendris, who's 14, riding for the Pythons. In the middle lane for the Wolves, it will be Jonathan Brooks. Behind him, his buddy, Bobby Archer. Thumbs up to Bobby. And Quinn Brumbaugh, 14 years old, in the back. No matter what, you want your teammates to finish as high as possible. Joshua Bag in front for the Lions. Jared Franks behind him, and Chris Thompson will be bringing up the rear. Chris looks confident. He says, we're number one. The Lions and the Wolves have some catching up to do. Let's see if they can make their move on the Pythons right here in Bike Jam. 
They are off and running. There are nine competitors. It's a cumulative score. That's all that matters. And the quick lead goes to the Python. Python's Brian Jaramillo is the leader. Followed quickly by one of the Wolves. Jaramillo leads. The Wolves, Bobby Archer in second. Oh, his teammate, Quinn Brumboss, passed him by. Look at the Wolves. They are traveling in a pack. They are two, three, and four in this race. If that remains the same, they would dominate. Brian Jaramillo of the Pythons has the lead. Quinn Brumboss second. Bobby Archer of the Wolves third. Still dominated by Jaramillo as he comes around the last lap. But the story is two wolves in second and third, and now and now in fourth. So three wolves are second, third, and fourth, and that will definitely give the wolves the overall. Brian Harvey are waiting for the Pythons. You've got Quinn, Jonathan, and Bobby. Bobby just misses out on the third place. He finishes fourth for the wolves, but that's good enough to win Bike Jam. Fermi, you were right in the middle of the action. I love it, Joe. I love it. I can't get enough of it, Joe. It's great. Did you see it? Did you see it? They Wait. travel in packs, Joe. And this one right here. Bob, right? Ah, oh, Bobby. Unbelievable. You almost ran across the finish line. Yeah, well, uh, I was coming around the corner and the hay bale sticking out a little bit. And so I went to put my foot back on the pedal and it slipped and it hit the hay bale. So I couldn't catch my footing and I knew he was coming up behind me. So I just got off and ran it across. Maximum drive. You don't stop. You keep on going. Right to the nearest dry cleaner for you, Burmy. After four events, Python's 18, Wolves 10, Lions 8. Stick around, we're gonna gear up on Maximum Drive after this. Stay tuned for more Fam TV. Class, always proceed in an orderly fashion. Sorry. Racing chase around the track. Always remember to forgive and forget. Sorry. You hit me, I'll get you back. It's a game of sorry. Slide, switch, and bump your way home before someone makes you. Sorry. And sends you back. Never bump, push, or cut in line. Sorry. Do we understand one another? Sorry. You hit me, I'll get you back. Anyone? Sorry. Fisher-Price Dollhouse is everything a dream house should be. With a doorbell to welcome you, a family to call your own, lots of cozy furniture, and even a very special way to get everyone tucked in at night. New Fisher-Price Vanity. Introducing the one and only Fisher-Price Vanity, because being a kid is always in vogue. Everybody. Crab. Crazy Crab, the new Mad Grab and Pearl Navin game from Parker Brothers. Grab your pearls, make your play. Get that crab out of my way. Crazy Crab. Excuse me. Make a crab, the craziest crab there's ever been. Get your pearls from him to win. Crazy Crab. Uh-oh. Make a crab. I win. Crazy Crab, the Mad Grab and Pearl Navin new game only from Parker Brothers. Now, back to our show. <laughs> Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. You are tuned in to Maximum Drive. And so far, so good for the Pythons. After four events, they lead by eight over the Wolves and by ten over the Lions. It is time for Gear Up. Now, the toughest thing about Gear Up might not be riding those XRs or the ATVs or the Cubs. All three will be out there. It's probably passing off the gloves and the goggles. That's what's going to have to happen. 
Our first threesome on the XRs. You can see Bobby Archer, full of confidence for the Wolves. He's in lane three. And in lane two, jam it, Jared Franks of the Lions. And over on a lane one, it'll be Kevin Knight, who'll be running for the Pythons. Again, they're on the XR80s. They will pass the goggles over to their teammates on the ATVs. And there they are waiting for them from the ATVs. Those guys are going to pass the gloves to their teammates on the Cubs. And the Cubs will bring it on home. We have saved our most complicated relay for the very end. It's called Gear Up. There will be two separate passes. We're ready for the start. Off and running for the Lions is Jared Franks on the outside for the Wolves. Bobby Archer trailing for the Python is Kevin Knight around the horseshoe. They are crammed together. One, two, and three. Archer has the current lead. Jared Franks in second. Kevin Knight for the Python third. Let's see what happens past the runway to Hairpin Alley. Archer comes around awfully wide, but he retains the lead as both Franks and Knight get stuck up a little bit. Archer pulling a wheelie as he crosses the line. Oh, and that isn't rubbing it. Jared Franks second, Kevin Knight third. So Archer's gonna slide into his spot. Bobby Archer gonna hand over the goggles to his teammate Quinn Brumbaugh. The ball fell down to his penalized five seconds. This is going to make it a tighter race. Who's off first? Chris Thompson of the Lions is off first. Followed by Quinn Grump, all the Wolves. So the Wolves hurt themselves. They went in first, but they were penalized five seconds. And now Chris Thompson is stuck, and down goes Grump. There is a log jam as the ATVs go down. Wait, wait, wait. And they are completely stuck together. They're going to try to separate them and let them continue with the back 90. They will open it up. Who's going to come out of this mess in first? It looks like Keith LeTendris. He has the lead. Holy mackerel. How rough is that? LeTendris is the first in. He'll slide into his shoot and hand over the gloves to Brian Harmeal. He might hand over some kind of a, an aspirin. This has been a headache for that team, and there goes Jonathan Brooks for the Wolves. He comes out of nowhere and slides around the back 40. Brian Jaramillo is in second place, followed by Joshua Bag of the Lions. Jonathan Brooks around here, Pin Alley. He'll hit the chicane. He's got a big lead now. He spells victory. Jonathan Brooks wins it. Brian Jaramillo in second place. <laughs> finishes third there are the numbers wolves with five pythons three lions one hey the wolves actually had a larger lead when quim brumball slid into the shoot watch the ball fall right there five when he's put the kickstand down five two, second penalty made it a closer race four. you came in first because this guy came over the finish line first yep <laughs> and well how did you do it well just gave a gas and went Sometimes you can give it too much gas. Lions, Chris Thompson, whoa, hits the hay. Quinn Brumball says, hey, I can do that too. Keith Latender says, hey, I'll join you guys. Mercedes Glow and you got Chris. Yes, I'm talking to Chris, who, uh, he started the big traffic jam down there. I just, I came into it wrong, slid wrong, and hit the hay wheel wrong. Well, three wrongs definitely don't make a right. You are in Keith Latender's ATV. This is what he saw. And there goes Quim Brumball up and over his ATV. That's nice of Keith to stay in third place and get us all those shots, right? All right, let's add up all the points. Who are the champions of the day? You got it. Pythons with 21 points. Wolves finish with 15. Lions have nine. We'll be back with more MD after this. Bam TV will return after these messages. You're standing at the door to the future, facing the unknown. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Do you think this is a game? I hope you're right. So, you made it in. But can you win? Masters of the Maze, today at 5.30 on FAM TV.